A former Niagara Wheatfield student is now suing the school district, claiming it did not protect her from sexual harassment, bullying, and intimidation. News Force Jeff Preval has been gathering new information on this today. Jeff? Jackie and Don, the claims in this federal lawsuit, they are disturbing. The plaintiff in this case was raped by a classmate in 2018 and is seeking damages. The lawsuit against Niagara Wheatfield School says the victim had to face her rapist every day as if nothing happened and that she was repeatedly subjected to discrimination, harassment, and bullying. Nearly two years ago, Elias Dowdy, a former Niagara Wheatfield student, was sentenced to 10 years probation and was granted youthful offender status for raping the victim at his home in 2018. Now in court papers, the victim's attorney says the district failed to take any meaningful action against her perpetrators or to protect her and that despite being charged with rape and having an order of protection against him which the school knew about Dowdy was still allowed to attend school and harass the victim who was a senior at the time. If these claims sound familiar, that's because they are. Last summer, the state attorney general's office sued Niagara Wheatfield schools, claiming the district ignored complaints from students of rape, assault, sexual harassment, and bullying, saying at the time there had been more than 30 documented incidents in recent years and not a single safety plan to respond to physical or sexual assault or harassment. The AG's office says it wasn't until students began to protest that Dowdy was expelled. Now, we just received a statement from district officials. They say that they empathize with the former student and that the district denies any wrongdoing. Crisis Services reminds people that if you're in need of help, their 24-hour hotline is 716-834-3131. In the newsroom, Jeff Perval, News 4.